y'all, what's up? You a suspect? Because we got this suspect <laughs> review for you. And we are going to get you. Okay. <laughs> what? You said okay. Okay. So, they go into a raceway, Neve and Io. They're going to meet Anthony. He's she worried about his friend and Dustin. They both love motocross. And he always been going in and out with disappearing and missing. He think, Anthony thinks that Dustin might be in something really bad, illegal. So, instead of calling the police, they called Io and Neve. Um, yeah. Okay, so, he been missing for 30 days. First of all, they went to the raceway. He been missing for 30 days. You know, Anthony look old, but he kind of look young. It's kind of weird. He only, met, he only knew Dustin for four months, so I'm like... I'm like, I guess they besties, besties. He don't know I guess he's spent, he spent a lot of time on them all, right? And doing yeah. all that, you know, the yeah. motorbikes and stuff. But his reason for not going to the police is because he may be think he's into something criminal activities mm -hmm. and he helped him one time with some boxes so he don't want to call the really police on and then, yeah, and then get yeah. in trouble. So Yeah, so then they went there, you know. Plus he wanted to be on TV. But, yeah, because... With with these shows, if somebody like, was missing that I care, you cared about because you care about him, okay. I would. I guess Neva I would did try. More they don't do that much for missing persons that much. I guess they don't do that. They could have got a picture. They could have got the police they and I even I. No, no. If he wanted to the police though, he, he, if he had a picture of him, mm -hmm. they probably could have found him easily since he'd be all around. Yeah. So, you know, he been missing for 30 days. He don't know his last name. Dustin ain't got no social medias. He got a flip phone. So I was like, burn a phone, basically. And, you know, they was trap all jumping phone. to the, I know, trap phone and everything. So he, they told him how one time he called him. Anthony got caught up. And Dustin was like, you got to help me move these boxes at 3 a.m. in the morning. He didn't know what was going on. And he was in a real hurry. He's like, don't look at me. Don't look in the boxes. So, you know, I was like, is this a murder case? I got to leave. So then she was like, if something weird go down, then... You know, you shouldn't be there at the place, at his house that we're about to go to. You shouldn't be there. And it's going to be us, and nobody barely know us. So they're going to go to his house, and some guy lived there, and he looked sketchy, I thought. But he was they like, did. I just... Yeah, yeah, I know. He's, he's like, I just bought this house a few weeks ago from Vicky. And they're like, who Vicky? And he's like, can I have Vicky's number? And I'm like, you just going to give out Vicky's number to me? I know. I everybody was giving out everybody's number. I know. So then they got Vicky's number, and they called her, and Dustin was her old roommate. And, you know, she owned it. She found him on Craigslist. and she did not know his last name. He always paid on time. And in cash, which is not really so you be paying in cash and on time. You might not want to deal with credit cards and all that stuff. And if you are the roommate or a person, you might as well just pay in cash while you're there. So that's not really that creepy and like sketchy and stuff. So you know he left. And, you know he's up, yeah. He, I yeah. mean, but you need to do a background check on somebody if they can be so. staying with you. Like it's an automatic background mm -hmm. check for me, honey. I get your last name and your first name. I'm background check you. And if you don't come up as that person, you gotta leave. Yeah, and you got him on Craigslist too. So she tell she told them his forward and address. So I can just call up anybody. Hey, um, I'm Neve and I. Am I know from this show. Can I get the forward and address and assess my mail? So you know they gave it to him. You know she said I wouldn't be shocked if he was a criminal, but I don't know. So you know they went. They said she wouldn't be shocked, yeah. but she let him live with her. I know. So they was like, uh, we we might find Dustin or we might be dusted for fingerprints. So they're oh going to go God. there. I know. <laughs> too much. So too much. <laughs> so then they ain't going to go place in the daylight hours because I was like, it's going to be creepy if you go there at night. So they go and call a police station. And it's like, maybe he got locked up or something. So then Lieutenant's like, well, you guys go online and go see that. Why are you calling us? Like, the hood? So then, you know, they was like, we got his last name. So then I was like, oh, well, when you get his last name and his address, you can look it up and stuff. So they're like, okay, goodbye. And I was like, wait a second. They look, this is what they did. Neve's hair looked cute when he got, I don't know how his hair looked better when he got his plate. They must have fixed it. But they went and typed in Dustin and then his forward and mail address in the search bar. And I'm like, no, what are you what doing? Are you doing? That's, that's, that's like, oh God. what is that? Max would have told him not to do that. You know that would never, that it, it's never going to come work. up like that. It's nothing you have to go to the white pages. I know this for a fact. I know how to do all of this. You have to go to the white pages, and then you might be able to see who lived there at that place. Ooh. Like, they didn't be like, I'm done. We just need to go to the together. place. They just like, I'm done. We just need to go to the place. And I'm like, okay, they, it was, they could have done more. But anyway, unless they didn't show it on the TV. So then, like, um, you know, she told him, I told me, you run like your upper body don't move. I know. <laughs> right Why was I always driving the car? Like, Neve no. never took a turn. <laughs> Like, okay, so, anyway, so they was going to the building. I liked Aya's outfit. They need a list, and, you know, there's, like, um, Aya was, like, they when he got a buzz in, it was, like, does Dustin live here? And it's, like, no. 
And then they, they was, I was like, um, well, we come in peace, I can tell you that. You can just let us up. And I'm like, I would not let that person like, know. Oh, okay, I'm gonna just buzz you up. These people they crazy. are setting up I know. to be murdered. Yeah, so they setting themselves up. I know. Destin don't live there, but some dude I mean, I'm not trying to there. murder Shane here, but... <laughs> They are like, giving out addresses, phone seriously, numbers. Seriously, you buzzing? Who you buzzing up to your place? I know. Who was that? Neve should have did it. I would be like, Ayo, Nobody who's that? Nobody even knew Ayo was at that time because the time. show wasn't even on. So how, how would you know who Ayo was? And I wouldn't even let nobody else say Neve. I would have to prove it. Prove it. You, I'm coming downstairs. I would or come. Go stand by the window. Go so stand by the window you. so I can see you. Show me a video cam. Show me a cameraman. Okay. Well, she's so security number. So much. No. <laughs> what? You don't even know how to identify that yet. You okay? She's going too far. Okay. So they went upside. They went up to the guy, mm -hmm. stupid guy's house that buzzed him, and then he opened. Oh, he opened the door too. Yeah. They. <laughs> what are these doorbells coming up? I don't know. The apartment. So he opened the door and then was talking to them, and then he gave him. He gave a, them a phone number, a phone number from too. Dustin that he used. It looked like he was a little hesitant. Yeah, he was not. Yeah, he's like, can enough. I get? Can I do it on not TV? Enough. Yeah, but Dustin was just using his address to where his mail can go to yeah. because they met at like a track or whatever. Yeah. So you know they so have his last nice name. Enough yeah, he's nice enough to let Dustin keep having his mail go there. Yeah. So they, they have his last name now. So they searched where, his name. Wait, can I ask where do they live? That was in that was in San Diego, California. Mm, they they. Yeah, so they searched his name and no pictures of no pictures of him came up like, okay, we <laughs> pictures would just show up no I mean I guess that it would just show up normally, but like there's like is he even a real person? I'm like, just because pictures Stop. don't show up doesn't mean he's a real person, but Stop. okay. So they called him, oh my god, he answered and I was like, ah and he's like, On a TV show? Anthony called you on a TV show? And he's like, yeah, if we, he's really that concerned, we can meet up. So they meet up with him, and we're like, he's shady, and he, like, he had a purpose. So he moved out here a year ago, and he was just homeless. He had a college job of the 75 grand, and is getting flip phones, you know, getting, like, temporary phone numbers to help them from the debt, debt callers calling him and stuff for all of the money and stuff. And he's been homeless, basically the van that the boxes was put in. The reason why he didn't want him to look into the boxes because his whole life was in there, his air mattress is everything. So he was homeless in his van, he lived in there, so there's like, can we see your van? And and why? And his bike why was in there. Then there was like, whoa, the bike is in there too. Whoa, the bike is in there. So they looked in there, you know, it was his bed, basically everything in there. He was like, he had his laundry stolen just a few weeks ago. He'd been wearing the same clothes. And, you know, then he had to take showers at the beach plate, at the, like, the beach or whatever, when, you know, when you go rinse off mm -hmm. at the beach. So then, you know, he was, Anthony's like, why you just tell me, man, I can help you out. So he was like, I really didn't want to tell you. I really didn't want to bring it up. Then the Vicky girl, he didn't want to tell her either because he didn't know how to bring that up to her. So, yeah, nobody want to yeah. talk about that. Then yeah. Nobody's going to care, really. I don't know if that guy would have cared. I don't know. Really, I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe Usually he would have nobody called you cared. Sure. Yeah. Then he said it was really hard for him to get a job. It's like no job out there for him to really survive. He tried it. But it really wasn't right. He tried for three years, and I, it's just not working for him. I don't know. I don't know if he got like some on his record. Then people won't hire him or some for some reason. But yeah, I so don't know, that was a little weird. I mean, mm -hmm. if it's just one, if it's just you, you that one person, mm -hmm. you got a job, you getting a check. Like that should be enough. They California is expensive though. It is. Just I. But just uh, but enough for him to have some money. I I don't know. That didn't see I what mean, happened. We, I don't know what happened after, job, at the end, like the end result of everything. But if he had a if he had a place to stay and he was paying the cash, where was he getting his cash from then? His job was that was yeah, years he ago. He, yeah, he said he had a job, but then he got laid off. Oh, okay. So it, I don't. It be it's hard out there, and yeah. I don't know if anybody would even try. I mean, even I don't even. I guess maybe he would have like said, "Okay, man, you will you can stay here at my place for a second or something like that." But well, I don't. Somebody think always I was, want something though. Yeah. Like where are you, where do you get a try to get a return for that? Yeah, I don't know what the end result was. I missed it, but you guys. I know. I think he said was. he was. They was talking to each other. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if he was helping him out or not. I missed it. The little words mm -hmm. on the. They need to get something better than doing those scribbles mm -hmm. at the end, doing the update scribbles. Mm -hmm. Like maybe talk and say what happened. What's happening? Because I missed it. Yeah. So hopefully he's okay. He's not homeless no more, and he's doing fine because he was living in his van and he. he it was hard. Okay, it's hard for a lot of people out there. People don't know that though. They're just like, oh, you homeless? You can go just get a job. Why don't you get a job? It's hard. It's not. That it's easy. not that easy just to go get a job and then get money to get get a place because it's sometimes when you're trying to get an apartment, you got to move in at that certain time or something. You got to hide a certain security deposit or something. And it's like crazy. Yeah, like three. 
three do, things like, or a deposit, yeah. uh, three month, months up front, mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, so or if you're trying to move into a hotel or something, you yeah. gotta wait for a whole the room or something like that. It's hard, but people don't know that. People don't think about that. They just think, oh, you're just being lazy. You just don't want to do it. No, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Unless you know somebody that has been through it or you've been through it and you don't, you probably don't even know. Oh, you, you don't probably, you don't even care. Yeah. So, so next mission, they was going to Ohio. And they're going to work on a case. It's this guy named Brandon. He thinks his boyfriend Jamar is cheating on him. And, you know, he looked like a young boy with that outfit on. Like he did with the pump jacket. I'm sorry. Anyway, so they go meet Brandon. You know, Jamar was a model for three years. And he put him on horses that he was scared of being on and stuff. And Jamar really, Jamar really opened him up to a lot of new things and stuff, you know. And, you know, Brandon is a hairstylist in Ohio. So he's, mm -hmm. they doing their thing. But, you know, he was like, I do not like kids. We're not going to have no marriage, no kids. I, not kids 24-7, no. Don't like kids like that. Uh-uh, get away from me. Uh, it's not your nose, boy. Go somewhere. So, you know, he was like, Jamar gave him the key to move in, but he don't even know if he wanted to move in because he don't know what's going on. He says he's at fashion shows and stuff, but one day, one time, he said one time they were just talking, and all of a sudden he got on his phone up and left. Mm -hmm. He saw him leave out the window for like a whole hour. He was gone, and he just came back. He and, came back, asked him what was up, and he yeah, was like, oh, what's mind your business. Mind your business. Like, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even that, tolerate that. That would be an instant fight. Who's gonna tolerate who are you talking that? to? First of all, who you think he's talking to? You're looking around that. trying to figure out who yeah, you're talking to. You pull to. up your calculator on your phone to calculate who he think he's talking to, telling you to mind your own business. And he don't even get invited to his fashion shows. I would I roll up. Even, I would roll up at that fashion show. I wouldn't even do that. That would just be the end of it. After you leave for an hour oh, and, and then not tell somebody then wait, and tell them to mind your what? business and they'll be here for three years. No, like what is that no. like who you think he's talking to like no. anyway so you know he can be sneaky every night he ain't there he said so you know he's shady basically so they went and met up with brandon's friend kai and you know he does he helps brandon's with his fashion shows mm -hmm. and he's like oh no it's just business we not messed around or nothing like that and he they didn't he didn't really want to say nothing on. He knew though. He didn't want to really say it. He said it's not my place to really say nothing. Not my place to talk. So Brandon's like, I'm gonna try my best not to have an attitude. We're gonna call him up, we're gonna meet with him. So he's like, I'm kinda busy uh, with my nephew my, for a couple more hours, but I can meet up later. So they met up with him and Brandon's like, You got a secret, you feel different. He's like, I'm not cheating on you. And if you move and I wanted you to move in. He's like, You see somebody no. else? And he's like, But somebody else isn't gonna be living with us permanently and definitely. I was like, dang, what? 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 He's like my nephew. Yeah, that you thought like... you was. That, that I told you was my nephew. And he was like, wait, what you mean that, I to that you told me was? That's not your nephew? And he's like, that's my son. And I was like, I knew it. You didn't know. Okay, I didn't know. So they, his son is three years old, yeah. and they was there for three years. But that was that was Almost before that was before him him and Jamar actually said, okay, well we together dating officially. And so he's like, what you not gay? You like females? You buy? What you what you not? Gay? I know. He's he like, was he's like, he no, was slightly yeah. popping off. Yeah, he was like, no, was I like, am gay. But it just happened. He was like, I didn't even know at the time. And the baby mama lived in Atlanta, and his mom got the son. But he's going to be living with him full time, the son, Davier. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was like, okay, well, you lied to me. I don't know how we're going to do this because you know I don't like kids. So then Jamal was like, yeah, that's why I didn't really want to tell you because I know you don't like kids. And he was like, I'm not about to play no house right now. I'm not trying to play house or nothing like that. He just trying to be he a boyfriend to him. He don't want to play house. Like, he didn't even tell him there was a kid involved. So, like, bruh. So then they went... And they mess. They went and met back up. So then Jamar was. Jamar looked like Cyrus from Sitting Dance. You know Cyrus. No, just his haircut. Okay. Anyway, so he's like Brandon was like I don't I don't want to share my man's heart with I nobody know. else with no other kid. Wait, I don't want to share my heart with no kid with his kid. That's mm -hmm. kind of weird to well, say. Well, no. Well, no. He said he don't want to share his heart with any with no other kid, but he has to now because he has a kid, so he has to share his heart. I know, but that was just. Like, I mean, if somebody got a kid, then that's like, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, that's a lot to say, though. Weird. So then he was like, I would ha I would have to, you know, I, but I would have to. See, I'm not, he's like, not ready to play Playhouse. He's not ready to play house. Not. He don't want no kids, that's it. And he so, was sitting yeah. up there really Stop mad. Stop being mad, boo. He was mad. But he don't want to like, give up on them. He's like, I'm not your boo no more. I'm your boo. I'm your boo. I took the oil out because I'm over it. That was cute. <laughs> that was cute. What? So then, you know, Neve sat in the middle and they all hugged and stuff. Neve was so intruding on them. But as guess is cute for a good cause to make them be more happy. I don't so, think 
Hmm? I, don't, I was gonna say I don't think this in a lot. Well, they still together, and you know the the he son moved in. He come and see him every day. But Bre Bre he Brendan visits, and he hasn't moved in, and like I don't know what's yeah. gonna happen. To Maybe him. he'll warm up to him, but uh... I don't know. When you don't like kids, when you don't like kids, you just not gonna like kids. It's, it's not. It's not gonna be a child. That's it's when you don't like a child. We're not. He don't not like kids. He just don't want kids around 24-7. Like, everybody always tell him, oh, you good with kids, you always be good with kids. But he just don't want kids 24-7. So, like, I don't think a child, another child going to come in and, like, change a whole perception on that. It's going to have to happen to you somehow to change your whole perception. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, if you don't like kids, you don't like kids. That's you don't it. like kids. Yeah, like, you don't like want, kids. You want the probably. crying and stuff. Like, that's just annoying. Like, please be quiet. Stop crying. You're going to end up shaking the baby. So, keep him away. Yeah, that's a three-year-old kid, though. I know. I don't think they should be crying. So, so he shouldn't let him watch, I watch him. <laughs> yeah, because their babies, they get antsy. At least he's taking care of his kid now. Yeah. Because I don't know what happened. I want some backstory. Yeah, where's the baby Jamar? mama? Why she in Atlanta? Where you at, Jamar? Why, what's going on? I want the tea. They're going to spill it. Because I'm nosy. Carbon. Anyway, guys, so thanks for watching this review. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Check, Check out, out our other, other videos because we got a lot of other videos. Faces almost beat because we don't know how to beat them all the way, but we getting there. But uh, we got I some did. videos on that because, yeah, we got opportunities. Beginners for beginners and for advanced CAs. Just check out the videos. They're cool, guys. They're cool. Okay, we see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, me. Bye, Ayo. Bye, me. Bye, Ayo. Bye, everybody. All of the producers and stuff. If you see us, you think we're quality. We're all qu we quality. We grade A. Grade A, like the meat. Not the meat that get recalled, though. But the good meat.